Hello and welcome to another video for my YouTube channel and blog. This is Kathleen Wingerson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm excited to share this Christmas card with you. I thought it was just really easy but it's really classy and elegant. And I know you don't often think of using black for a Christmas card, but I think it really highlights the wise men and the star, and I just think it's just really lovely. Today I'm going to be using this new stamp set from Stampin' Up! It's called Wise Men From Afar. And then I'm going to be using the star die from the Bethlehem Edgelets. And I will also be using the layered ovals and the stitched shapes dies for this card. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a piece of basic black cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half to make a standard A2 size card. Then I have a piece of our shimmery white cardstock that's four by five and a quarter and that will be for the inside. I have a piece of our new champagne um, foil paper. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think you're just going to really love it. And this is um, cut three by five and a quarter. Then I have a piece of basic black that is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be take this is this layering piece right here. You see that? Let me get a closer Yes, okay, so you can see this champagne layer that's right there. What I'm doing is I'm going to cut this scalloped oval out of that champagne. It's a way to save paper, and you might as well cut everything out that you possibly can. So what I'm going to do is I've layered the two on top of each other, and then I will go run them through the Big Shot. It's not often that you can cut two pieces of paper at once, but with these ovals you can, and that makes it really nice. I can just go take these over there and cut it out. Then I'm also going to use the star from the um, Bethlehem Edgelet set, and I'm going to cut that out, and you can see that I previously cut that out of a piece of the champagne cardstock. And then I have a piece of our shimmery white, and that will be layering on top of the champagne. And this is two and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And on this one, we're going to be stamping the sentiment. And then I have a piece of another piece of shimmery white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the wise men on this using the basic black archival ink from Stampin' Up. And um, get that stamped and then we can die cut that with the stitched shape oval. So let's get going. So what I have discovered sometimes you get a stamp that like this where you have applied your ink but you can see there's whole areas that the ink is not adhering to and I think that's because as the shape of the, of the linen pad it kind of bows a little bit and it makes it difficult to apply the ink. So my solution to that is to turn the pad over and apply the ink to the stamp rather than the stamp to the ink. This way you're able to get a much better inking of the stamp and you'll be able to see where the ink is. Now one thing that I always do is I look at my stamp after I have it inked to make sure that it's uniformly wet and then when I lay it, put it on my paper I'm just going to put it down and then I'm going to hold it firmly there for a while. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press to the areas of the stamp. But by holding it, it allows the ink to transfer from the stamp to the paper more successfully and you will get a much better inking, especially on one that has a bold stamped image like this one does. And so there we go. And you get that perfectly stamped image. So now what we're going to do, just go ahead and clean my stamp. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take this to the Big Shot. And I'm going to run this through with my oval like this. And then I'm also going to run these through. And so I will be back in just a second. 
Okay, I'm back with my product. So here is my image of the wise men, and here is my um, Im or my champagne foil, and this will be layered underneath the shimmery white cardstock. This will go right on here, just like this, and then the black. I can get these apart. <laughs> there we go. So then we have the black and we have our shimmery um, or our champagne foil with our shimmery white cardstock. So we can go ahead and mount these two together. And I'm just going to use some snail. And I'll go ahead and mount those. just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to be applying some um, dimensionals to the back of the oval. All right. I hope you've taken the time to see the new catalog. If you haven't, there will be a link on this blog post. And there will also be a link that you will find below the car or my video right here. There'll be a link to the all of the supplies I'm using plus a link to the new holiday catalog. If you do not currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator but would like one, I would be more than happy to become that for you. And you can just click on my, go out to my blog at KathleenStamps.com and you'll be able to um, Click on a link and I will be happy to send you a new catalog if you don't already have one. So now we have this all done and then I'm just going to apply snail to the back. And so this is ready for us to put together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the inside of the card and I'm going to stamp the sentiment on this card. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the From Afar sentiment and we'll ink that up and that's going to be stamped right here on the bottom. It came out straight. You never know sometimes. <laughs> and now we'll go ahead and we'll stamp our sentiment on the inside. You can see that even if you were going to be doing lots of cards to send out, that this particular one would go together very quickly. So we'll go ahead and we'll stamp this. All right, so now we can assemble our card. So we'll go ahead and put our inside in. I want to thank you so much for taking time today to stop by and visit my, or to watch my YouTube chat or my YouTube video and hopefully that you can give it a thumbs up. I would really like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to affix this together. So we'll just get this mounted. And then we can put this on our card. Does not want to stick to the back of this paper for some reason. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So we'll get this mounted.
and we're almost done. Now we can go ahead and put this on. All right, then we'll take our star and put our adhesive on the back of the star. Put that on, and then I'm going to use one of our rhinestones. You can see I've just cut mine all apart. As I finish up a group, I just cut the little pieces off and put them all in this little baggie. I use some rhinestones up much quicker than others. And so then we're just going to put a rhinestone on the top. And our card is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will come back for more. You can go on by my um, blog at KathleenStamps.com and until the next time, bye.